kind of weird seeing that they actually get dug up from the ground. They don't just naturally appear in museums. There's a lot of work that goes into that. This is like when you actually see the International Space Station fly overhead. You've read about it, seen videos, etc., but nothing beats seeing the real thing. That's not, thank you. <laughs> That's a, a wonderful comparison. I'm flattered. The first time I ever saw the ISS when I was in the field. It was my first summer in the field, 2011. And Lee Hall, who's a paleontologist at Museum of the Rockies now, he was working on that crew. We were all about to go to bed. We just set up our tents and everything. And Lee says, everybody, come over here. I, I want to I tell you about something. And we all gather around. He starts giving this beautiful speech about the human spirit and about, you know, discovery, exploration, um, and how we were out in the field doing that. But there's also a group of people doing the same thing miles above us right now. And then he points... And there's this really, really bright dot moving steadily across the sky, the International Space Station. It was a magical moment. So uh, I'll never forget that. It's really cool to be part of something like this, where we're in some small way contributing to the progress of science, contributing to the sum total of human knowledge. It's a, it's a privilege to be able to do this, and it's a privilege to be able to share this with you. So I'm glad you're here for this.